Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's time for gas again. We are trying to keep up. Well, I'm sort of trying to keep at the same level behind when the gas puzzles get published on the Discord server in the Daily Sudoku channel. You can check them there if you want to see them sooner than they come onto the channel. But these are genuinely approachable Sudokus created by Sam Kappelman Lines, Philip Newman, and Clover, who are the gas giants, effectively. They are the absolute masters of this stuff. Um, puzzles that really show you how to do some of the basic Sudoku rules and sometimes some other variants, um, sometimes classics. And well worth giving a go just to make sure that you can get through these puzzles. They're, they're just good fun. They're not mind benders. They are they're a decent standard, but they're not really, really hard. So that's the key thing about the gas puzzles. And and I try and do five of them in a go. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to run through the rules, then try them to do them at speed, because that's what I like to do. Um, and I'll just talk you through some of my deductions as I go. Now, uh, on Patreon, two releases today. Um, we have got the third trilogy, the final trilogy of Peter C. Hayward's Puzzle Hunt The Solution videos. Those are now available on Patreon for the $3 Patreons. And also Simon has done his inception. Um, well, it's virtually a, a puzzle hunt in itself. It's an astonishing thing by Matthias Martinka, a grid that lends itself to reuse again and again and again. It's a really clever idea. Um, and Simon has released a solve of that. So those are on Patreon. Obviously, under the video, you can find the links to all our um, merchandise, like this Bobbins mug, like and uh, all that stuff, all our apps, Sven Sudoku Pad, and the five URLs for these uh, puzzles today, which are Killer Sudoku by Sam Kappelman Lines, Normal Sudoku Rules Apply, um, each of the cages shows their total. There, that's all you need to know about this one. None of those could contain repeats. Then we have Egg by Philip Newman. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in grey circles must be odd. Wasn't his, his last puzzle was called Ego that I did, which is very similar to Egg. Maybe we're going to be changing one letter each time. Um, yeah, so the, all these grey circle digits are odd. That's all we know about this. There's loads of them there, though, so that's going to be useful. Then we move on to Counting Cages by Clover. A cage of size n contains the digits 1 through n exactly once each. So this is an 8-cell cage. So that has the digits 1 to 8 and not 9. That's interesting. I've not seen that variant often. It feels a bit like a suguru to me. Um, then we're back to Sam. Oh, it's a classic normal Sudoku rules apply. And that's it. And then finally, we will be moving on to Echo. So it is short words beginning with E by Philip Newman. Um, and this is another killer Sudoku, basically. Digits and cages cannot repeat. I don't think any of those could either and must sum to the total given. There is one cage just here for symmetry, it looks like to me, with no total. Never mind. Right, so do give them a try, as I say. Um, they are all genuinely approachable, and we will see if my times can justify that. There are awards for times. If you get one that is designated as quick, you get two hats. One that's fairly quick earns one hat, and then there's a dinosaur if you limp across the line towards the back of the field. But we'll see how I go. I'm going to try and remember to restart all of these puzzles so that I know my time based on the timer on my machine. I will be adding a timer to each one, so you can see how long it took. All right, ready, let's get cracking. Um, right, we've got, oh look, five, six sequential cages. Uh, so that's a one, three. This must be one, four, because there's a two in the row. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, no, I don't. Ah, oh, five and six, they have to be made up of one, two, three, and five, because they add to 11. So now, that's going to have to be a four, because it can't be nine or seven, which sit in the other cells. So we get a three there. I finally got a digit. That has to be a two, six pair, because we've used one and three. That now has to be a three, five pair. In fact, we know which order. This can't be three, six, five, four, or seven, two, so it's one, eight. That's a naked single nine. 
two and six in the other cells. Ah, no giveaways there, right. One four has been fixed, one five, and that's looking at this cell, which makes it an eight. I thought something was coming there. So five and seven for the rest of the row. Uh, this can't have a 1, 2, 4, or 5 in it, so it's a 3, 6 pair. Do I know this? Yes, that's now a 2 at the start, because it sees 1, 4, 5 in its column. This can't be 3, 4. That's not so helpful. Oh, up here, that's got to be 1, 5. This can't use 1 or 5, so that's 3, 4. In fact, we know the order there. And this one can't use three or six, so that's one seven. So very helpful gauges. What a construction, it's really neat. Um, six and three have been resolved. That makes that a two and that a six. Now we've got triples. In fact, that's naked. Seven, and that fixes the one seven. One, four, eight. We know that four goes in the middle of those because of the other fours. That's a naked nine with a two, five pair. The nine fixes seven and nine, must be able to do this at the end of the column, it's a three. Uh, oh, there's a one, looking at that one, three pair. So three, two, and two, five. Then we go down here, nine, eight at the bottom. That's a naked seven, with five, six below it. That's a nine, eight pair. Still don't know about this one. Let's have a look up here, we need a Two, oh no, five in those two cells. Five, that's seven. Ah, oh, and a six, eight pair. That res at least it resolves both the pairs below it. So that's handy. And we get a two at the bottom in a cage. Fixes the six, five pair. I've mistyped the six there. This now is four, seven, because the other possibilities are gone in the row. That's a naked one. That's nine or eight. This must be fixed. One nine, I think, is the only one. That does resolve the eight nine business. That's a three. Seven and six, they are straightforward now. Two and six there. And this has been a bit of a flyer. Oh, six. If it wasn't for the misprints, this was a bit of a flyer. One and five, can't do the six eight at the top. Eight, one there are done, six, three are done. Two and six at the top, eight and nine in this column. So four, eight, and we finish with a six. And there we go, three minutes 41 on my clock. So that's a pretty decent time for any puzzle, even in the genuinely approachable series. So now we have Philip Newman's egg with the odd digits marked with circles. Not necessarily all of them, but all the digits marked with circles are odd. So we'll try this out with a restart. Here we go. Um, well, these must be the two evens in that box. Uh, the two remaining evens, same over there. That's actually quite useful, I think. What about two and eight in the middle? Yes, eight and two, they are done. So that's a 139 triple. I'm just looking up the column. So 5 and 7 at the ends, we can fill in 4 and 6. What about here? 2 must be there, not in a circle. So 1 is there. That's a 3 5 pair. That resolves the 7 5 in the middle. 8 and 9, yeah, we know which way around they are from the rule. 3 7, we don't that time. It's a good start now. That can't be three. What does that mean? Nothing. Three is in one of those cells. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at now. Come on. Five. These are odd. Let's try and focus on the evens again. So four is in one of those cells. So then it has to be there in column seven and there in row eight. Yes, they were quite helpful. Left with an X-wing at the top. What about, I don't know, twos? Yes, two has to be forced into there. So that's the two in column seven. Column seven was quite helpful. What about this one? This column is also helpful. Eight and two can be written in. So that's gonna give me an eight down here somewhere. Where's six? Don't know. 
Um, mm, this is kind of petering out. Right, six, seven, eight, two, four. I'm going to write in that three that I know exists there. Doesn't do much for me, does it? Uh, seven, I can place that in box four and five. Then I'm left with a one nine pair. Now that five must bounce up to here somewhere. That's seven or nine. That's one or seven. Oh no, there's no one up there. So there's a one down here. Um, and that doesn't tell me. Oh, look, one must be in those. So we can place one in this column and nine now. That's a three or a five, which is part of a pair that feels like it should be useful and isn't. So that's three or five as well. Eight, one, five, four, three and nine at the ends of the column. Ah, oh, that's the five odds then in the in the column. Uh, so that's two, has to be, that's the only place it can go in the column. And these are six, eight, that shunts over one, which forces four, which deals with the nine, one pair. This is seven and six, we know the order because of the rule. We get a nine there and a three there, that takes nine over to the other side. We can do three and seven now. Three and eight, yes, we do know the order because of the three in column nine, that's become a five. Six and two can be written in. Nine in this column is there. Five and eight are resolved by the rule. And that's also fixing the three five pairs. And five in box one. Now we can do nine and seven in that row. Six, four at the top are resolved. These must be write-ins. Three, one and five above. And in the middle, one, nine, three. And then we've just got a, oh, this has gone wrong, is it? Two, yeah, there's two eights in this column. That's because I've mistyped a five as an eight. That's better. Sorry, I don't know how long that's been sitting there, but it wasn't actually obstructed. And finished just under four minutes. So I'm certainly hoping for another two hats there. Egg, not too bad. I'm guessing the name this time. I mean, I don't really know why Philip's doing these E names, but I'm guessing the name comes from the sort of roughly ovoid shape. Then we move to counting cages, a cage of size n. Yes, I don't, didn't expect this at all. Let's see how it goes. Um, a cage of size n contains the digits from 1 through n exactly once each. Let's go. So there's a 1-2 pair there. So the 1-2 in this box, in this cage, are in those positions. That means the two in this cage has to be over here. The one in this one can't be anywhere there. That's not so helpful. This is one, three, four, five, six. So there's a two here and a nine here. That must be where nine is in the box. Five and three have to be in those cells by Sudoku effectively. It's a strange mix, this puzzle. Now that's a seven cell cage. This might be better done by looking at, oh, one and two in this cage, at where nines and eights goes, things that aren't in the cages, but that would be a bit of a gamble at this point. So that one, two, three, four, they must be in the outliers of this cage. Yeah, that's really interesting. Every time a cage is marked, the really small numbers have to be in it. So that's a five, six, seven triple. So that does give us an eight, nine pair in the middle. Two, two, four. This must be three, four, five, mustn't it? Ah, five in the middle, because there's a three, four pair. And in fact, I can write in three and four. So, Nine must be there, because none of the cages are nine. There's a six in that cage already, so six goes in there. This becomes a seven-eight pair. That's not seven-five. That is a five. Right, so that five-six-seven triple is all done, if I type them right. Six and eight. We can't have an eight in the bottom cage, so that's a six. Three and five. Most of these central columns are done. Now, one and four. That has to be four. That has to be one. Now this cage has got six, seven, eight in. That has to be a three, five pair. And then four, one, and two in column.
column eight. What about this? We know where the two is now. Three, four, five, and seven to go. Ah, oh, three, five must be a pair there, and this is a four, seven pair. Oh, interesting. It didn't really break out in the way I expected. Oh, that's a five because there's a three in its box. Three and four are resolved in the middle. This one, that three, five pair is not resolved. Okay, surprising. One, four, nine, eight pair there. Ooh, one, four, three, two, five. That's a nine, eight pair. We can do seven and six thanks to the seven, four pair. That's a three, five pair. This is a six, seven pair. Now, three, five, two, nine, four, seven or eight there, six or eight here. Ah, that seven, eight pair that we've created looks across at box one. Five must be there. This one, two's been resolved. Now that three has been resolved. So the putting in that five in box one was actually very helpful. This must be, oh no, this must be a two and it cannot possibly be a two. And that's quite a fundamental error. No, it's not. I've mistyped this number again. How are my fingers so fat? Is it the new keyboard? Oh, it's a relief that it's not a complete Horlix of the puzzle. Um, now that is an eight, so nine, eight. Just try and refocus again a bit. Still this six, seven, eight triple isn't resolved. Now looking across, no, I can't resolve the six, seven pair. Nine, two, two is done here. Ah, eight in the bottom row, it must be there now. Nine and seven, that does fix the six, seven pair. This has become a six, right, this is working now. Oh, after an absolute heartbreak moment a little while ago, when I really thought I had messed this up big time. Um, seven and nine there, that's all resolved. Six and eight here, we get a nine underneath it. Eight and nine there, finishes. So just under five minutes this time, 4.43. Um, right, I'm gonna have to pause now and deal with something. I'll be right, sorry about that. But we move on to, what's the next one? Classic by Sam. So we've done one of each of the constructors so far, and now we move on to a classic from Sam. Never quite know how these are going to pan out, but do give it a try. It's always good to sharpen skills. Right, uh, let's get cracking. So that is an eight, nine pair that sees all the other digits. So we can fill in a five, and then there's seven and six around them. Nine and two get written in. Seem to be quite a few digits provided in this puzzle, I have to say, which makes, makes one think it is really quite approachable. Um, Let's try this along the bottom. Six, three, one, seven. This must be a four, nine pair. Then two, eight, five there, which I can't actually resolve. I can do the three, one, six, eight, seven. This is a one and eight. Two, four, and five. Right, they're all done. So these corner boxes, yeah, I think they are all done now. Three and nine can go in here. We've got a four, eight pair there. I don't think any of these triples are immediately doable, so I'm gonna to have to find a naked single in the middle or something. Hmm, uh, okay, I'm gonna write in the possibilities in case it helps. This might be the slow way of doing this, but never mind. Been quite quick so far. Um, Let's do them all up here as well. Two possibilities in each cell. Now, what are they telling us? That is seven or eight. I'm gonna have to just find the cell that gives me, so, ah, six, nine there. So this is a pair, that might help. Yes, five or seven there, three must be there. Um, I could maybe have seen that I had a lot of threes. That would have been one way to go about this. Although I'm not done yet. Our oh, one seems to have to go in there. We've got all the ones apart from that. 
one, three, and four. In fact, we also had fours, so the last four goes there. Oh, I wish this was helping a bit more. Two, eight, or nine there. Full pencil marking. This is never the quickest way, but it does normally get it done. Two or five. Right, that's a pair. As long as I've got that right, it looks like I have seven, nine. Uh, yeah, so that triple's done. I think I wrote the wrong pair in there, but never mind. I think I did write the wrong pair in there. Oh no, but I was using that one, so it didn't actually harm the solution. Wow, sorry if uh, if you spotted that and were shouting at me. That's a two now. Eight, five, two. I'm pretty sure this is going to be right. At least we know with a classic that when the computer tells me the solution is done, it must be right. There we go. Whew. So two minutes 49 wasn't pretty putting in the wrong digits there with a typo, which I think is what happened, but um, I then used those two which were correctly inserted and found my way to the three. Actually then, when once I realised that there was one number that could just be written in the middle because the other eight digits were given, I then noticed that one could also be, and then I quickly scanned these groups of six to find out if there were any other digits repeated four times within them, and noticed that four was as well. That's how I fell so quickly on the four there, in case you were wondering. Right, let's move on to Philip's other puzzle, Echo. Again, a short word beginning with an E, and this is a killer, just like the first one we did in this set, um, and also with two cell cages in sequences, I think, looks like. Yeah, even more of a sequence. Uh, this is, although the sequence is broken as you go around three, four, five, six, seven, oh, nine, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 15. It needs must when the devil drives. So let's restart and let's get cracking. So a nine, seven down there and a nine, eight there. Surely that, oh, I don't know, actually. No, one, three there. Let's start here instead. Two and one are resolved. That must be a four now. This is a two, four pair. This must, doesn't have two or four, it must be a one, six pair. Yes, we know the order. Mm, it peters out amongst these middling numbers. Now I should probably, oh, that's an eight, six pair. Oh, sorry, seven is seeing that cell. So that is actually done. This must be six, nine as a pair. So that's eight, that's nine. That fixes the order of six and nine. Looking at this cell as if it, this cage as if it might help. This is going to have to be five or four. For four wouldn't work because of the nine. That's a nine three pair. Okay, this has all been quite helpful. We've got two, three, and four here, and that's forming a triple up here. So that's a five seven pair. Nine, two. One must go there, four must go there, that's a three eight pair. I'm trying to ignore these middling number cages. Maybe eight will be useful. Two, one, three, five. So that's six or seven, but it can't be seven, so it's six with a two beneath it. This now can't have a one, four, or six in it. So it must be two, seven. That's right. Um Now, where do we go from here? Ah, oh, seven and a four, nine pair in row three, three, five, and eight to go in that box. Three and nine in this one can be written in. That fixes eight and three. That must fix six and eight. This, oh, doesn't get resolved, but actually we can place three in this box now. Um, still trying to avoid this studiously. Seven, six, two, three, nine. Neither of those can be an eight, nor can oh, but the middle cell can. Right, that's not a five, so it's seven or nine, and it can't be seven. So that is done. Should have looked at that harder. This can't be nine, two, or three, eight. It could be six, five, or seven, four. Ah, I don't know which. One, four, nine. Two, one, three, four. That's a six in this box. That's not a three. In fact, three is placed then. That's now a five, right? Eight, five, done. Now let's look down this column and we can do eight. 
we get a 1-4 pair at the bottom, but I feel like that might be helpful now. Puts a 7-6 pair up the left side. That gives us the right side. That gives us a 5 there. That 5 looks down and fixes the 5-2 pair. 2, 8, 3, 9, 1, 5. That's become a 7, 6, 4. That makes this a 5. We've also got the 5-7 here resolved. This is 6 and 8. Again, I thought I might have made a mistake. Can't do those yet. 2, 3, 7. 1, 3, 4 here. Can't do those. Eight, seven. That's a naked single 2, though. So that's going to fix the two 4 pairs. Let's get them the right way around. This is a 5. I'm looking at the first column. Yes, 4 and 3. Uh, 9 there and 7 below. 15 in this last unnumbered cage. 2, 3. 1, 3, 8 and 7 at the top, and this must be a 1, and then we go across and do 4, and finish with a 1. Oh no, we don't finish with a 1, there's a 9 and 4 still to go. There they are. Ooh, just over 4 minutes, but still a quick batch of puzzles there. So under 4, under 4, under 5, under 3, and just over 4. So. I think these gas giants are being very generous to us at the moment. There really isn't anything too strenuous going on in these last few puzzles. And uh, that's the beginning of the year for you, perhaps. But thank you very much to them. And uh, I hope to see you back tomorrow for more Sudoku and um, in four or five days for more gas as I try and keep pace with the puzzles as they come out, at least. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching and bye for now.